Today's video, we're going to talk about sinking funds. Yay! So last week we talked about cash envelopes and the benefit of using cash envelopes when you're starting your budgeting journey. So, you know, let's just say you're brand new. Cash envelopes are very, very helpful for anyone, whether you're just starting out, whether you're getting back into budgeting. It's very helpful when you use cash envelopes as part of your uh, system because it's going to help you and allow you uh, to budget for these categories that we always that we often spend the most like groceries household eating out gas beauty okay miscellaneous so it's very very helpful for people to use cash envelopes as part of their system when they're starting their budgeting journey okay so that was last week so check that video out I hope I explain explain myself good so check out the video if you haven't seen it. Okay, so today's video, we wanna talk about sinking funds. What are sinking funds? Okay, sinking funds are small saving accounts that you are eventually going to spend. Okay, do you that again, to... you're probably like, what? A sinking fund is basically just small accounts, whether they're in the bank or they're in an envelope, these are all sinking funds. A sinking fund can be anything you want it to be. And so it's short term savings that you're eventually going to spend. Like emergency. Emergency is what that is. I hope nobody has an emergency like every week, but if you have an emergency, then you have the money to be able to take care of the emergency. So you save money, you set money aside. Now you have, you know, a certain amount of money for your emergency fund. Okay, maybe you save for vacation, maybe you save for clothing, or maybe you save for Christmas. And so you're setting money aside. So all of these here are sinking funds. Let me just kind of just like, like I said, I'm gonna show you these, but they're, like I said, sinking fund can be anything you want it to be. A lot of people will use their bills. They'll create, you know, bills like their, uh, you know, rent or people you do Amazon Prime. Like there's really no wrong sinking fund. People will do, you know, maybe your daughter has uh, gymnastics or maybe she has dance and, you know, the recital's coming up and you want to start saving for her costume. Uh, that could be a sinking fund. Maybe you want to save because you don't have dental insurance and you you want to get braces for your son or your daughter. So a sinking fund is anything. I when I first started, um, I currently use a credit union. I still have a credit union, and four of my sinking funds are in the credit union: emergency, clothing, Christmas, and vacation. So those four I have in the bank. And when I feel I need to add money or want to add money, I will transfer money over and I will add money to it. Okay, so you don't have to do it every week, but I wanna try to explain to you, there's two different scenarios here. The first one is you're adding money at your pace. Maybe you get paid weekly, bi-weekly, and so you're like, okay, every week I'm going to add $5 or $10 to all of my sinking funds, and I'm gonna do that, okay? Just as you go along every week. There's another scenario, which is maybe you have a time frame. So when it comes to a time frame, that's different. Because the time, okay, so like you have an end goal. Let me explain. For example, we are in July. Six more months is Christmas, right? Let's just say that you want to start a Christmas, a Christmas sinking fund. We have six months left and you need to come up with $1,000. You would have to, you have an end goal. So let's say by November you want to, so it's July. So you have like August, September, October, November. So it's four months. Okay. Just saying that there's four months, you have four weeks. Okay. So what is that? 16 weeks. You divide the 16 weeks between a thousand dollars let's say if that's what you 
you know, really, really want, what is that, 160? So one, two, three, divided by 16. Oh, what did I say? 62. Okay, so let's just divide it. Let's just say by chance, you know, you, you, you needed the money. Let's say it's $1,000, right? Uh, divided by 16 weeks, right? So 16 weeks, it's about four months. Okay, that's about right. You divide it by, right? So that would be $62.50. So that you have an end goal here. So you would need to put away $62.50 every week in order for you to reach your end goal for your Christmas fund. Okay, does that make sense? All right, good. So that's what I mean about having an end goal. If you are just saving for, okay, like maybe you want to save for your, your mortgage or your rent or your car insurance and it's due every week, you want to take the total amount and you want to divide it. If like, if you're doing it like in four weeks, you know what I mean? So you have to break it down in order for you to understand how much you have to set aside every week or biweekly, depending on when you get paid. So, um, so those are the, those are the two scenarios. One is where you add money at your own pace. And the other one is more if you have an end goal. Here's another example. Um, maybe you are looking for a used car and you know, your limit is 10,000 or 5,000. Okay. It's, it's $5,000. And I really need to get a new car by January of, you know, next year. So you would calculate that's also what seven months. You know, you can even push it out further, but I'm just trying to give you an example. So you would take, you know, $5,000, divide it by, uh, you know, the months and then the week. So you would understand how much is it going to be every week until you reach the goal. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So that's what a sinking fund is. That's really what they are. I have a few here uh, to show you. So we have like auto, utilities, debt, kids or pets, health. Okay, this set here, I have actually two, two sinking fund cash envelopes in my shop. This one here, which is a set of six, and they're side tab. The other one is a set of six, but they're top tab. And the other one is, um, it's savings, it's emergency. So there's, there's a bunch, I just can't remember exactly the categories, I'm so sorry. Um, but they're both really good sets to use if you are just start because it has emergency, it has saving, it has a couple of different ones. Um, and it's definitely, definitely handy um, because these are already made. So, you know, I have several, several different, I think I have close to now like nine sets of cash envelopes in the shop. So take advantage, take a look around and see. I only try to make the best cash envelopes with very, very high quality. I, I've had, different ones and I would be like no so I've I've gone through my trial and error and I do really love these cash envelopes and I think that you will too um, we I also do them custom so maybe you don't want the ones that are pre-made um, I also have like the set of six that is blank so if you have you know maybe you want to uh, do your own I have cash envelopes that are blank or I also have it on the website if you want me to create custom envelopes for you. And that's also another option. We also have a couple different uh, styles. So I'm gonna show you. We have this style here, which is just like this, which is just like this, but blank. And then I would create it, you know, straight font. We also have them just like this, but with top tabs. Those are also blank. The other style I have, I have more on the way, which is like this, these. And then I have these, which a lot of people really love. And these are awesome, which I, I love these because they don't have the zipper. And so like, it's just amazing. I love the quality of them. I love how it's like plastic. And what's awesome is there's no zipper, so it doesn't bulk up your planner. Okay. So there are several different styles. We also have this style here. So if you take this out, you can see that there's a style here. I also have pink on the way. So that should be here next week. Okay. So we do have several different styles, like I said, um, on the website. All right. So that is what a sinking fund is. Um, I hope that I explained it. Um, I'm going to share with you some of mine. So the first six here that we, I just shared with you, these are a pre-made set. These I've had for many years. I've had these forever. 
Like this is not even straight. I, I had this since I like a couple years ago. <laughs> um, so I have rainy day. I have one that says bank deposit. Um, I have Lucian, which is my grandson. I have Ezra, grandson Adelina, granddaughter. I have Amazon. I was using like a, I was, I was using some kind of label maker. Um, and then I have Target. So I like this one here. Oh, here's one. This is an example. See how it's top tab? So you see the top tabs. Well, we have these that are blank. We also have, this is like, this is one of the ones that are pre-made. It says emergency fund. So there's one that says emergency fund. I think saving, um, I think Christmas or holidays. So there's a couple, but it's a set of six. Okay, so these are my sinking funds that I have that stay in my binder. The other ones that I have are in my credit union. So if you have a credit union, you can open up sub accounts. If you have a bank account like uh, Bank of America, you can also open up sub saving accounts and then you can rename it. So you can do those for free. They're just sub accounts. Most banks let you open up another like additional accounts. Most of the time you can do that. Okay. So, um, if you're interested in like maybe having a few in your bank account and making it easy for you, you can do that instead of creating, um, you know, envelopes. So that is what sinking funds are. I'm so happy we were, we were able to um, talk about it because I know last week we talked about cash envelopes. Um, sinking funds are short-term saving accounts that you are eventually going to spend, okay? You're helping yourself. You're bettering yourself to try to, you know, yes, you can simply have one saving account. You can put your money in your saving account, call it a day, and, you know, you use what you need when you need it. But doesn't it make it a lot more fun and exciting and challenging when you have like more than one, like when you know where your money's going and you're putting it in different areas, like, okay, you have an emergency fund, you have one for your holidays or for Christmas. Um, I also have this one, which is my holiday. This is my holiday binder. And I actually have all of my holidays. I'm sorry. Yeah. All of my holidays, um, which are sinking funds. Um, I actually have it in this wallet. I might change it into the pale pink. Um, but this is another example of what sinking funds are. All of these holidays are sinking funds. So it's just, it's just a way to manage your money and make your life easier because birthdays always come around the corner. Holidays are constantly popping up and you forget. So these are all sinking funds. Okay. And I have all of these envelopes in the shop. I have the set of 12. I have the set of six, which is a Christmas set. So there's like a total of 18. Check those out. They're all right here. Um, so these are, like I said, so these are all considered um, sinking funds. I have all of my stuff right here in my caddy. I will, let me turn the camera so you guys can see. I also have my saving challenge binder. Um, I like to keep all of my stuff like you know, together. It just makes it a lot better to have it like nice and organized. Um, so I have all my stuff right here. So that's my 100 saving challenge binder. This is the 12 month binder that I just showed you the holiday binder. This is empty, but it's ostrich. I had used it. This is my teddy bear pouch. And then these items that, oops, then these items that I'm actually showing you right now, they also go in the caddy. Um, so we do have more of the caddy. The pink caddy should be here any day. Um, it should be here any day. We also have black being remade and we also have the cream one that's going to be remade. So we will eventually be fully stocked with all three of the colors. Um, I do believe we have a few left in the shop. I think they're cream. So check those out if you're interested. Okay. So these are all of my sinking funds. I keep them in, um, you know, my caddy, I like to keep all my money organized, even, even like, even my one, even my saving challenges. Um, and I'll show you. So I keep everything in my caddy, uh, over here. Like I just showed you, I like to write everything out in my budget planner, which is here. Okay. 
writing everything out, keeping organized, you know, making a list of the things that you need to do, make a list of the, the, of the sinking funds that you want to work on. Maybe you have a few in mind that you could start, you know, working on right away. Um, the, these are the Adelina A5 binders. These are also in the shop. We have white, black, pink. We also have taupe. We also have A5 rings, which is a wide, A5 wide, and that's uh, considered tan, but it has gold rings, so check that out. Um, I'm just actually using the regular size, and this is my 100 saving challenge binder, and I've been doing this for a while now, so I'm not quite halfway, but I'm almost ha halfway. So I guess halfway would be right here, right? After here. I'm really trying my hardest to fill this out so every week what I do is when I go to the bank to take money out from my cash envelopes um, I always have a sticky note so first I review my cash envelopes I figure out what I need to take out to fill my cash envelopes and then I'll, I will say do I have the amount do I have money that I can afford this week to add to my saving challenges not everybody can add to different challenges it's hard enough you know trying to pay your bills and do things like you know just paying your bills and stuffing your um, cash envelopes so I don't want you guys to think that you need to have like 50 sinking funds because it's unrealistic so if you see videos where there's like and I just personally think it's unrealistic I don't think that like if you have that much money like I mean great that's I just don't think that sometimes it's really what you're seeing out there I think that you should be truly um, you know let's be let's be real okay we're trying to budget we're trying to get a better handle with our finances um, we take money out to fill our cash envelopes and having sinking funds is a great idea I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it but what I'm saying is is that it's already hard and some people don't have the capacity to fill this fill their cash envelopes fill their say, sinking funds and everything else so try to narrow it down to what's really truly important if you don't have an emergency fund then that would be like maybe your very first sinking fund that you can start with, you know? So I do this as I go, I do this as at my own pace. I don't have the money to just constantly be putting here 50, you know, sinking, uh, um, sinking funds. So I try to be as like, you gotta be realistic here. So I, I try to give you the information. If you have the funds to do so, that's awesome. Like I'm not gonna, uh, knock anyone for doing that. That's great. Um, so, okay. Okay, so I'm going to put my stuff away and put it back in here. Um, I'll just leave this out right real quick. So again, today's video was talking about sinking funds. L let me know your comment. Let me know. What do you guys think? Do you have sinking funds? Have you started them yet? Have you started saving? Have you? Do you use them? Are you familiar with them? Please leave me a comment below. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Every week I'm trying to push out a new video that pertains to budgeting. So every week will be like a new topic. Last week was cash envelopes. Today is sinking funds. Um, and like I said, I'm giving you information and tips and things that I have been through and what I have gone through. So um, my budgeting system is super user friendly. It's super easy. Um, I learned, I read books. I watched The Budget Mom. I watched David Ra Dave Ramsey. I read his books. I did all of those things. And at the end of the day, I do what works for Christina. And so you can do the same thing, okay? Just do what works for you. Don't give up. Don't, don't get frustrated. Just, I mean, I can't tell you not to get frustrated, but we all, we all do. We all get frustrated. But um, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes we go through struggles, and so you just have to find what kind of works for you. Okay, just take it one, one day by day. You know, um, I felt, you know, one of the things I truly believe in is that being organized is so important. Um, so like writing, and I used to love writing in my budget planner. Um, you know, writing everything out having that visual looking at what your monthly overview is looking like you know just keeping really you know organized and consistent is really going to help you and as far as cash envelopes i know that that could be a struggle especially for new people just take it one day by day and one of the things i did when i first started I started with all six, I quit, I got mad, I got frustrated, and then what I did was I said, you know what, I'm going to start, I'm just going to do like one to like three, I'm just going to start with a couple, 
and try to get used to that. Get really used to one to three so that way you under, you're understanding the concept, you're understanding what you're doing, you're really, really understanding. Um, that system worked for me. So that's why I always try to share with you guys what worked for me. That's very important. Like I don't want you to go through the struggles and take, you know, take more time than you need to. It's not hard. Get organized, start your cash envelopes, get positive, get motivated, determine whatever I am here to support you. So leave me a comment below. What do you think about your sinking funds? Have you started them? What do you think about them? Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful afternoon. Bye for now.